trees are cut down and were is used to build houses and furniture. Without plants, a survival is not possible. A seed is a small plant enclosed in a covering called the seed coat. The seed coat is a thick outer covering of the seed which protects it. Seed leaves which are also known as cotyledons provides food to the baby plant which lives in them. It protects the baby plant. Cotyledons are divided into monocot and dicot. A monocot have only one seed leaf inside the seed coat. It is often only a thin leaf. Example, rice and wheat seeds. Dicot have two seed leaves inside the seed. They are usually rounded and fat. Example, beans and gram. From the seed, how do plants grow? When the seed gets enough water, air and sunlight, it grows into a new plant. Let us learn the process of germination. Germination is the process by which a seed turns into a baby plant. All seeds need moisture, oxygen and right temperature to germinate or grow or the remains dormant and can do nothing. Some seed need light to germinate while others need darkness. All seeds does not grow into plants. There are some factors that obstructs the seed from turning into a plant. Seeds don't grow well if they land right underneath the parent plant. There it does not get enough light, water or nutrients. Animals also eat seeds and sometimes wind and rain destroys seeds. Fruits and seeds are scattered with the help of wind, water, animals and the explosion of fruits. Scattered by wind. Seeds like maple and drumsticks have wings attached to them which helps them float in air. Andelian and cotton seeds have long and fine hair surrounding them. Dispersal of seed by water Seeds like coconut and lotus fruit float on water and travel to far off places. This way the dispersal is carried out. Dispersal of seed also occurs on explosion. Some fruits when become dry explode. This force of explosion helps the seed to scatter. Example is a poppy seed. Seeds also grow from the leaves, roots, stem, leaves and spores. Some plants like ferns don't produce seeds. They make tiny round spores eventually turn into a new plant. When stem of a plant is cut and planted in soil, a new plant is grown. Example, onion, ginger and potato. Leaves of some plants like bryophyllum have buds on the edges of the leaves. When kept in moist soil, these buds produces new plant. Some plants like carrot and radish are grown from the roots. Agriculture The practice of farming including cultivation of the soil for growing of crops and the raiding of animals to provide food, wool and other products is known as agriculture. There are many stages in agriculture. The first stage is plowing which is the initial step for the preparation of soil to sow seeds. Next is manuring which is to add nutrients to the soil. 
then comes sowing of the seeds sufficient water is supplied to the plants after sowing seeds this is nothing but the process of irrigation pesticides are sprayed to protect crops from the pest finally after the crop is ready it is gathered and stored indian crop season is classified into two main seasons kharif crops and rabi crops kharif crops which are also known as monsoon crops example rice and cotton rabi crops are sown in winter and harvested in the spring season example wheat gram and mustard crops should be protected from animals the pesticides and insecticides should be sprayed for protection of crops